Alright everybody, uh, now this video is going to be a do-it-yourself chicken coop and what I use as a model was this chicken coop here that's on the Tractor Supply Company's website. Now the reason I stumbled onto this was because I was trying to find the biggest chicken coop that they offered uh, because I knew that they offered little chicken tractors and stuff like that. Now uh, this coop right here is only, let's see, uh, product width uh, 94 inches wide, uh, which is about, uh, it's less than eight feet long. Um, and, uh, this is it. This is, uh, this is what you get. You get a little hen house, a little box, uh, little place for them to have eggs, a little, uh, uh, nesting box. You got a little chicken run area out here. And if you look, there's a little door that kind of falls down. And they've also got a door that opens up here in the front to let them out. And a lid on top that opens up so you can reach down in there. There's also a lid on the back back there. Uh, but this is what I wanted to show you. $499.99 plus $65 shipping. Now, uh, <clears throat> do they sh do they do they ship it to your house? It says online only. Do they ship it to your house pre-assembled? Or are you just paying for the materials and then assembling it yourself? Well, if it was $500, I could understand people wanting the money back on, uh, uh, for their time. Uh, but if you're just getting raw materials and you have to assemble it yourself, that's kind of a lot of, a mo lot of money. So I was looking at this, and I was looking at the tables I have in my backyard that were left from a, a previous renter um, that I showed in one of my last videos. And I figured, man, I could just basically make this myself just from the materials that were left out there. Um, so let me show you what I've done so far. I've used this as a model uh, for the one I've been building in the backyard the last couple days. And uh, I've never built anything before, so, uh, so I'm going to show it to you guys and show you, show you uh, what $499 gets you versus doing it yourself. So, uh, so stay tuned. All right, everybody. Now, this is the one that I built. Um, I used the picture of the one from the tractor supply company uh, to basically... Uh, use as a model um, for, for the one that I've got and uh, these are the three tables this is actually part of them these are two of the tables and I took them apart I took the frames apart and um, basically just started putting them together now all I did with this top frame right here this was the with the one table with the legs and everything and I just took the 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 piece of plywood off and I put that I'm just laying it down there on the bottom and it was originally right up here on top so I took that off put that under there um, now the frame on the bottom was also a table, um, but I took the legs off of that and just kind of used that as a base. Now I've only got about $26 into this whole thing. Um, it's a lot, lot less than the $500 plus $60 shipping or $70 shipping. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so that's it. I think that's a, a lot better of an investment to uh, spend a little bit of money for it than, uh, than a, uh, a lot. <clears throat> and the thing that got me about it is I was thinking, I was trying to figure out why they'd be charging so much for that. And it's even smaller than this. This is 8x4. The other one was, wasn't even that big. It was a lot smaller than that. And um, I was thinking, okay, well, yeah, maybe that's because they construct it and everything. And they put it together. You're paying for labor, not materials. But then I started reading into it, and they ship it to you unassembled so you actually have to put the thing together anyways so if you're gonna be putting the thing together anyways why would you pay over five hundred dollars for something like that for materials it only costs about fifty dollars um, I don't I don't think that's uh, too big of too good of an investment uh, when you could do it yourself and I've never built anything before this is my first time ever building anything um, I've messed around with stuff in shop class but I never actually went in and started cutting wood and putting it together and building anything so uh, so I'm pretty proud of it now uh, just like the other one um, I've got a door in the front it's it's not completely finished but um, it's got the door in the front it's gonna have a door on the top that opens up to get inside and it's also got the little uh, little doorway so they can get into their little ch their little hen house um, let me show you guys what I did with uh, the doors and stuff now this is the door in the front that's going to open them up and let them out so they could run around the garden. And I've got a lock right here. I just cut out some plywood into pieces to make like a latch. And uh, I just doubled it up right here. Put one piece here and one piece here. It fits in nice. And I made a little handle on there. Oh, caught on the grass. There we go. 
and it opens up so they can all come out and then I put a little lock on here so it'll hold it open so uh, so that's it so they can all run out of there and I cut the I cut this out and put some screen on there so that way it would make it a little bit lighter it wouldn't be so heavy and uh, not to mention back here I did this I cut a piece out down there for some ventilation to also make that lighter and I put a little door in here there we go and they got a little ladder now I split the wood pretty bad on there but it still held in pretty good so it should be okay but uh but yeah that's uh that's as far as I've gotten with the chicken coop so far uh, like I said I've only spent about twenty six dollars and uh, most of the money came from the the, the chicken wire the chicken wire was twenty bucks and I'm not gonna be using all of it and um, these little latches let's see those little latches right there were only two bucks dollar ninety seven that was a dollar ninety seven for the lock and then another dollar ninety seven for these latches that go on here too so that's it's about twenty six dollars so far and I had some screws left over um, from the ones I took apart on here so I've been using those I'm gonna need to go get some more screws for the rest of it um, but I bought a jigsaw um, I was gonna get a circular saw but it was a lot more expensive and I've always wanted a jigsaw anyway so I've just been cutting everything with a jigsaw and uh, the jigsaw was only like 30 bucks but I'm not including that price into the construction total because you should have the tools anyways I guess but um, but yeah I've got the chicken wire going around this side got it mostly nailed in up here I need to do the bottom still and um, right here is where the hen house is gonna be um, there'll be a nice little hen house it'll be up off the ground maybe about a foot or so and um, I'll put little uh, nesting boxes in here for them to lay their eggs and I'm also gonna be putting some more little doors on the back of it um, so that way it's easily accessible or even I might just do like an open up lid so you can just reach down in there but but that's it um, I uh, just wanted to show this to you guys show you the the update on it and uh, the progress of how far I've gotten with it so far um, like I said I'm a greenhorn when it comes to building things so if I can do it anybody can do it and I just took those scrap scrap wood tables over there I thought this would be a little bit better and a little bit more secure than putting three tables together and just kind of trying to rope it off like that I mean that would work but this is a little bit more like a little chicken tractor and this right here I put in and I'm going to be using these as a roost, like a little perch for them to kind of get up off the ground. And uh, they like to do that. So, so I'll have two little roost poles in there. And I bought some some bamboo. Let's see if the doors unlocked. I got this big bamboo at the dollar store, and these were about a dollar a piece. So wait a minute. So I've got about twenty-nine dollars in it so far, but I think I'm only going to be using two of them. Maybe one in the hen house. We'll see. But um, I haven't put those on there yet. So. So it's still $26 in it so far. Um, so stay tuned. Um, see what happens with the rest of it when I, when I get this thing finished up and I get some chickens in there. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And if you're thinking about doing this, try to do it as cheap as possible. Build it yourself, even if it's not uh, not as nice as it would be. And it's not as pa it's not painted and it's not professionally done. Um, you're going to save a ton of money. $26 is a lot different than $570. Um, that's just... That's just a little bit too much for me, if, uh, if you ask me personally, especially when you have to build it all yourself and put it all together and if they just send you a bunch of pieces of wood. You know, if that's the case, just go ahead and buy the wood at Lowe's or uh, Home Depot and put it together yourself. You know, get some uh, blueprints or some plans online or just take pictures of stuff and uh, try to figure out what you're going to need. You know, talk to somebody that knows, uh, knows about what. And obviously I've had it a little bit easy. These frames were already built for me. All I did was kind of just nail them, uh, screw them together, cut the, the plywood and put a door on the front, put a door in the back, wrap some chicken wire around it. And uh, that's pretty much about it. But um, we'll see how much I got in it. In the end, I'm going to predict maybe only $50 in this whole chicken coop from uh, from start to finish. So, uh, so I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty proud of these little, uh, these little locks and stuff like that. <clears throat> so that's it. There's the new uh, do-it-yourself chicken coop. Thanks, guys.